Carry on. Uh, so the Baltic Triangle has developed massively over the last few years into being a really creative digital hub for the city. What are your thoughts on how the area has developed over the last few years? Well, it's brilliant to see the renaissance locally and the fact that we've been able to not just breathe new life into old buildings, but to give them a future in which there is some sustainability, um, digital and creative, and certainly um, some of the high tech stuff that we're doing in this area are things that in the future will grow and we're trying to cluster as many of those types of businesses so that we can feed off each other. Now you've taken over the digital and innovation portfolio which is estimated to be in the region of £350 million for the city region. How important are tech industries within Liverpool? It's a hugely important sector, but it's a growing and burgeoning and hugely important sector. So it's not just what's happening now. If we create those conditions by which we can grow the sector, and if you have a look at other great cities in the northwest and, and beyond, they're all trying to um, get as much growth as they can here. So we have to do things better. We have to ensure that we get our offer right. We have to provide the facilities, and that's why you know the. The likes of the independent quarter is so important, I think, to the future needs of digital growth in the city region. Now, uh, infrastructure is obviously very important in the Baltic Triangle, and one of the main issues being discussed at the moment is St James's Station and the possible redevelopment. How far along are we with that, and in terms of it potentially reopening? You're right, the plans have been drawn up, the feasibility study is being carried out, and uh, it's being quantified the, the financial ask. Uh, we just need to go to government and put forward a, a strong enough business case so that we can start to get some of the funding that will enable us to, to achieve the, the aim, which is, I think, for everybody to have a station that services this area. So we're a long way off, in all honesty. These things aren't easy. The leading period for the Mersey Gateway Bridge was about 15 years. Mm -hmm. We want to bridge that and hopefully make certain that we can get this uh, developed and in the pipeline for the next few years but it's it's still a long way to go and there's a lot of work that we need to do. Now we've discussed obviously the growth of tech industries and digital industries within the Baltic Triangle. There's also a massively developing arts and culture scene in the area. How important is that going hand in hand with the tech industries in order to develop the profile of the area? We're the only city region that has culture as part of our devolution agreement, so it's absolutely essential and integral to everything that we want to do. We want to get the cultural offer right, but that includes things like the arts, it includes digital, it includes the creatives, it includes all of the clustering, and that means that tech and other fourth industrial revolution industries can benefit from it. We have um, really fantastic people which are our greatest natural asset. If we can create that ecosystem around which they feel comfortable to invest and expand, then I don't think there's any stopping the Liverpool City region in the future.